This video is brought to you by World of Tanks. A big thank you to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. If you haven't heard of World of Tanks, you're missing out. It's free to play with over 100 million players worldwide. It has more than 550 tanks, destroyers, artillery, light, medium, heavy tanks. There's always a new way to play. You can roll out across open fields, climb steep hills, sneak through forests, tear across deserts, and pick your battles in urban and industrial zones. Rally your teammates, devise a battle plan, and destroy the competition in over 40 battle arenas. Historical accuracy and inspiration means authentic models and vehicle characteristics that make you feel like a real tank commander taking part in a furious armored offensive. You can earn experience, modify and upgrade your tank, and create a steel beast ready for any challenge. So download World of Tanks. It is a lot of fun. And during registration, use the code TANKMANIA to get seven days of free premium account and 250,000 credits. You'll also get a free premium tank, the Excelsior, which is a tier 5 and three rental tanks for 10 battles. So once again, if you're interested in World of Tanks, links will be in the video description below and use the code TANKMANIA. Hey guys, welcome to a fight I never wanted to do. A-10 versus SU-25 Frogfoot. Um, I don't know, I never wanted to do it because I thought it would be a dumb fight, um, but there's so much demand you guys in the comment section you won't drop it so I figure we can do it and see how it plays out and then maybe those comments will finally stop but listen I get it you're curious you know you want to see how it would play out okay well let's see but the A-10 should kill the SU-25 every single time uh, here's an SU-25 I'm gonna play the A-10 first and then I'll switch to the SU-25 there's the merge and we've gone one circle Basically, the only chance the SU-25 has to kill the A-10 is if it, you know, sneaks up on it and the A-10 doesn't see it. It hits it with a Fox 2 and just extends away. That's really the only chance. As soon as the A-10 sees the SU-25, SU-25 is in trouble. It's got a speed advantage over the A-10, but the A-10 is always going to turn inside it. You'll have to excuse my flying of the A-10 here. I'm having a little bit of trouble with her. I'm not quite used to flying a pig of this size. Although we have seen the A-10, it is capable of dogfighting. Uh, but those are at pretty low fuel states. I'm finally starting to get the hang of this though. And you can just see this SU-25 cannot possibly turn inside my circle. It's just not possible for him, you know? And when we merged, he should have just kept flying straight and gone all the way home. Um, just getting into this dogfight is a death sentence for him, essentially. Uh, the only way I can see the SU-25 beating an A-10 in an actual dogfight is if the A-10 guy is an absolute chimpanzee and has no idea what he's doing, you know? Then it's possible. You know, or losing visual, that's always dangerous. You can't fight what you can't see. I almost got this guy lined up here. Dropping some flares. I do technically have Fox 2s. And so does he. I am, I kind of want to see the gun on the A-10 absolutely melt this thing though. <laughs> Come on. There it is. <laughs> and man, you gotta appreciate because the SU-25 is quite an armored aircraft. So to have it just light up like that from the A-10 gun is something to be admired. Alright, there it is. That's the fight you guys wanted to see. Um, I'm gonna switch over to the SU-25 now and let's see how it plays out from there. The fact that I'm inside of this Russian pig right now 
I hope it shows you guys how much I love you. <laughs> and I do these things because you guys want to see them in the comment section. I had said previously that I would never do this fight, but <laughs> the pressure is just too much, man. And uh, we'll just, I'll show you guys what you want to see. You know, who am I to deny the people what they want to see? So, um, I am going to try to turn fight with this A10 here. Um, it's not going to end well, I'll tell you that right now. Now, I do have a bit of a thrust advantage, so I'm obviously going to try to use the vertical, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. You can see that A-10 coming over the horizon now. I mean, I guess we'll reverse into a one circle. It doesn't really matter what I do. I'm going to die anyway. And I hope being in the SU-25 you can see the flight characteristics and why it would never win in a real dogfight with the A-10. Oh, look at this. Lost control there for a second. Yeah, see, that's uh, never a good sign. And remember that he does have Fox 2s. So do I, but I'm never going to be able to use them. None of that worked, so we're just going to go for the vertical, even though it's a horrible idea. And look at him, you can see the smoke coming off him as he shoots at me. Oh! Oh, that's my wing. Oh, that's bad. Alright, I think we're done. <laughs> As expected. And just keep in mind the fact that the A-10 has Fox 2s makes this an even harder fight for the Su-25. Not because, you know, he can hit him with the Fox 2 in the, in the turn fight, but because it's difficult for the Su-25 to extend away from the fight. Because as soon as I start to extend, he's just going to hit me with a Fox 2. So I'm kind of stuck here. Um, this is basically the worst case scenario for a Su-25 to be in a dogfight with an A-10 that has Sidewinders. It's a very, very bad situation. Um, into the merge here. Here we go. One circle again. And he turns inside my circle. That's great. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, it's just not... It is not... Something the Su-25 can do, really. Alright, the distance is getting a little bit more than I would like. Dropping some flares here because I can... Yeah, there's the Fox 2. Great. And it... Did, oh! <laughs> See, that thing didn't care at all about the flares. There goes my wing again. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. <laughs> I think you guys get the point, right? We don't need to do this all day. You get it. The A-10 is going to win every single time. Alright guys, I hope that video answered the burning question for so many of you as to who would win in this dogfight, the A-10 or the Su-25. So please, no more asking for this fight. <laughs> it was the worst thing I've ever had to do. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.